Hey everyone, I'm Erwin Marine. Welcome back to the channel on my next Escape from Tarkov video. In this video, we're going to talk about weapon parts, and not only ones that can make you a ton of money, as you can see behind me here, uh, suppressors selling for almost 200k, which right now is more than graphics cards, but ways to save you money when you're doing your weaponsmith tasks and things like that. Just items you should keep a lookout for, items you should definitely keep, uh, because they are super important, and they're worth a bunch of money, or they're just expensive. So let's not waste any more time, and get right into it. All right, so first, a few things get out of the way first for those that are pretty new to the game. Uh, spawn places, these spawn in open world. It, you know, any kind of where that looks like it might be a weapon shop or has parts, you'll find weapon parts and you can find these there. It's kind of a random spawn. Some spawns have better than others, but for the most part, open world weapon spawns are on every map all over the place, just in various locations. Uh, your next best bet is crates. It doesn't matter if it's a green crate, a grape crate, a black crate, any kind of crate can spawn weapon parts. So they're worth checking because you might find one of these home run parts in there. And then lastly is caches, ground caches, whether you're the buried ground caches or the, bar uh, the barrel caches, whatever you want to call them. They're on woods, customs, interchange, and shoreline. Uh, all of those can spawn weapon parts. So you can check those out. You can find some of these in there sometimes and make money that way too. Now, obviously one of the most popular places for weapon parts to spawn is reserve. It's a military base. It makes sense. Places like Black Knight and the roofs of the pond buildings and the roof of White King, they have an enormous number of weapon spawns. So you can run around real quick, grab up everything you see, and then get into cover and sort through it and figure out what's worth money or not. And that's where I get most of my weapons parts from honestly is white knight it's just chock full of them and you can come out of there sometimes with three or four sets of weapon parts that are used in gunsmith or that are meta weapon parts that are just worth a ton of money but like i said you can find weapon parts almost everywhere on every map the important part is remembering what is worth money and i'm going to give you a pretty big list it's not necessarily saying you have to keep all of this stuff in your mind but it's something to keep in track of on a couple of them for the very least because if you see them you know they're worth a fortune all right now specifically what separates these items from other items it's going to be mostly items that are uh level required for gunsmith i.e you need level three mechanic or level four peacekeeper to buy them and people are wanting to do their gunsmith tasks way before they have them unlocked. So they're just gonna spend a bunch of money to get these parts so that they can move through those tasks, uh, break even on some of them, and then get a bunch of XP. And this applies to ones that are called out specifically in the tasks. So for like example, gunsmith 13 requires an annihilator, muzzle break, and the skeletal grip, pistol grip. It's specifically called out. So those are worth a bunch of money. I think I've got them right here, we'll look. So like right here, you can see the skeletal, skeletal grip selling for 75, 80,000, 90,000, 100,000, just kind of depends on time of day and how many have been listed. But these things are a ton of money. So when you find these, make sure you keep them. You can put them in your secure container so you can use them later. And if you get out a raid with them, uh, you can see how much they're worth. And that's just for one task. You have things like the Ultimac M8 for the M14. Uh, and the funny part is, is I have it turned off, but you can see these things selling for 180, 200,000. There's a barter with a level two mechanic for three circuit boards for this thing. But instead of doing this barter and people paying attention, they just buy the part for 100. These will sell. These are not gonna not sell. People will buy these just because they don't pay attention to the barter. So keep that in mind. There is a barter for a lot of these expensive parts, especially if they're specifically called out. So you don't have to spend a bunch of money. Even the skeletal grip has one. I think it's mechanic level three and skier level three, but there's barters there for them eventually. And, you know, things like the shift grip, not only is it needed in tasks specifically called out, but it's a meta part, like it's one of the best parts. So because of that, it not only does it get used by people building guns, it gets used in doing some of these, these gunsmith tasks, not by specific name, but just that's the only way you can get to the requirements. And another one of these that falls into these things is like the D-lock, for example, which is used for your uh, FLIRs. There is no sale of these. No vendor sells these at all. The only way you can get them is through a barter. And a lot of people don't look at this barter. It's 4D batteries, but some people are just going to spend the 80, 90, 100,000 rubles for this D-lock rather than do the barter. So try not to be that guy. Try not to be the person spending a bunch of money uh, on these items when there's a barter. But by all means, don't hesitate to make money off of the ignorant or the, the lazy because that is a big part of how I make a bunch of my money is I find the parts that nobody else is willing to do the work for and then I sell them and then I make a video for you guys so you can do the same. Now we'll go through the wish list here a little bit. Some of the bigger items I found and kind of show, show them to you. Any of the JMAC uh, muzzle brakes, there's two of them. There's one for, for each kind of gun. They're both worth a bunch of money, as you can see here. The land tax, there's two kinds of them, but both of them are worth a bunch. So the land tax dragon muzzle brakes, make sure you're hanging on to those. Again, we talked about the skeletonized grip. For whatever reason, I haven't figured out yet, but this, this KCPRS sound suppressor is worth a fortune. You can see it right here, 100,000. There was one up here for 105 earlier and it's sold already. So it's obviously selling. 
Um, I'm not sure why these are a lot yet, but they are. I just want to point them out. Here's the other land tack. Um, obviously, the SOCOM muzzle brake. Now, this is just because of how it gets used in some of the parts. Keep that in mind. If you find these, you'll see these sitting around, and this thing just looks like it might be a piece of junk. But this uh, M1A Smith Enterprise SOCOM 16 muzzle brake um, compensator is worth a bunch. And then you have things like the uh, attachment for suppressors. These things are pretty rare. They're tacked behind a higher level trader. So in order if somebody wants to put a suppressor, this suppressor on a gun, they have to buy this part. And this is the only way to get it. SVDS rotors. Now these things go anywhere from 25 to 30,000 all the way up to over 100,000. Just depends on how many of them are on the market. But this is the only way you can suppress an SVD, which is one of the very popular guns in the game when it comes to sniping with an MDR because of how hard it hits, it's semi-automatic, and it's really powerful. And then you get into the biggest one here that I could find, and this one is absurd, and it's because this needed for Gunsmith 4. I believe right now this is the only way you can get to the pet stats. Don't quote me on that. I haven't done it myself yet. I haven't found a better way to do it, but that's where this is going. That's why this thing is worth a ton. And as you can see, you got a suppressor here that rivals a graphics card for price. So remember your parts, remember where they're at. And I believe this becomes available at mechanic level three. So level 30, assuming you have all your other requirements done, which is why it's so hard to get to because you have tons of people trying to do gunsmith before they're level 30. And then the last one is this muzzle brake. And I want to bring this up for a reason because this 55645 muzzle brake shows up on Rashala's guards all the time. If they have that ADAR on them, make sure you strip the, if you don't take the whole gun with you, make sure you strip the parts off of it. You can take the Thunder Beast and the suppressor all in one go on two slots, drag that whole thing into your inventory or just control click it, whatever you're doing, and make sure to sell this Thunder Beast separate because you can see it selling for a lot. The suppressor does pretty good as well. We'll go look here real quick just to show you guys. It sells for quite a bit too, again, so it's worth selling, but just don't forget that that muzzle brake is actually worth quite a bit of money. Same thing kind of with the Daniel Defense suppressors and things like that. Always check those uh, muzzle dual muzzle brake suppressor attachment kind of deals because very often they're worth quite a bit of money early white. The last one I'm gonna show you here is Tarkov Market's little sheet. Just kind of show you the top list of expensive parts in here. Some of them you can ignore because they're kind of outliers, but some of them are always gonna be worth a bunch of money. But you can see even in the top 10 here, you've got parts selling for over 80K a slot. Some are 200K slot. Like we were talking about the Anni Annihilator Flash Hider earlier, this thing is worth a ton. If you find this, this should be going to your secure container right away because you're going to need it eventually. And unless you want to spend a bunch of money on it, this is where you're going to end up having to buy it from. But you also have your shift grip, your HK Ergo uh, pistol grip, which is a really higher pistol grip. The Grawl S, again, high Ergo. This M14 UTG point, uh, four point mount is needed for the gunsmith task on the M14s, um, as well as some of your 34 millimeter rings. These these ones are crazy because there's lots of barters on Jaeger for these. So you shouldn't be spending money on these. You should be bartering for them. It's a reason why you should level up Jaeger as much of a pain in the ass as it is. And as you scroll down, you get into some more of these oddball ones, things like this MDR. This thing might be listed for 95,000, but it's not worth that. You know, sometimes people will sell them for that, but it's that's just what it gets listed on the market. That doesn't mean it gets sold. But some of these others, 100%, that's what they are. You can see the JMAC we talked about. RK1s are worth a bunch, all of that stuff. So keep that in mind. Um, I use this website a lot. It's a great resource. Don't hesitate to go check them out yourself, but it does require a Patreon to get access to some of this other stuff that I have in here. Just keep that in mind. Well, that pretty much wraps it up. I hope this was useful for you guys. Uh, I hope you're going to be able to make a little bit of money out of it and more importantly, save money going forward. So good luck in your raids in Tarkov and we'll see you out there. Well, that wraps up the video. I appreciate you watching. Make sure you hit that like button because it helps out the channel a bunch and subscribe for future content. We also have a Discord, links down in the description that you can come join. We're filling up with a bunch of chill people who just love to play Tarkov. If you're looking to support the channel in other ways, we've launched a Patreon with some benefits like access to a Discord channel, a constantly updated spreadsheet for my hideout calculations, and some other things if you want to go check it out over there. Lastly, thanks for your support on YouTube. It means the world to me and I greatly appreciate every one of you. So with that, we'll wrap up up and we'll see you in Tarkov.